Believe it or not, I'm a very tame driver on the street. I tend to get my frustration out on the track, but on the street, I'm a grandma when it comes to driving. This is my secret life. This is my secret life. This is my secret life. I was born here in the United States, but at a very, very young age, my parents went back to Nigeria. So I spent a majority of my youth there. I was actually quite mischievous as a young child, taking things apart and trying to put them back together. I really loved to understand why things worked, how they worked. I was extremely fortunate that my parents actually encouraged me with such shenanigans. That really created an opportunity for me to continue with this quest of curiosity. And believe it or not, I was in university at the age of 16. The only challenge was we did not have the technology for petrochemical engineering in the late 80s in Nigeria. So I told my father that I wanted to come to the United States and really be at the forefront of technology. In engineering classes and schools, there were a lot of engineers to be that had vehicles that they liked to take to a local drag strip. I took my chance first time drag racing with some of my peers from school. I fared very badly my first time out. My little lowly Honda CRX wasn't up to par, but I took a scientific approach to problem solving. The problem being, how can I go faster? How can I make this car more efficient? very quickly started to become faster and faster with designs of yours truly that allowed me to secure some very strong drag racing records which still exist till today. None of this would come to fruition if I didn't have the background in science, if I wasn't an engineer. Fast forward to today, I create beautiful automotive masterpieces for the high performance community. In 2013, we were approached with an opportunity to build a very unique vehicle for the American Honda booth at SEMA in Las Vegas. I was recently married, just had a new daughter, and it was perfect for me to build a very outlandish minivan, a four-digit horsepower monster that usually takes a year to create. My team and I had seven weeks. But you know what? We exceeded our initial 1,000 horsepower goal by 29 horses. Why did you say yes when they asked you to do it in seven weeks? Because I love the challenge. And as someone who's curious and someone who loves setting goals, especially those that are almost unattainable, it was perfect. As a scientist, it's very exciting to be able to have a concept, something that has never, ever existed, and then bringing that to life. You can see it, you can hear it, you can drive it. There's nothing more exciting than that.